It's time for the Taco Truck Roundup, the best show on the internet when you just want to keep up with what's new at AppSimo. This week, I've got a form builder, a pop-up builder, and a WordPress plugin that's designed to make your blog just a little bit more informative and perhaps a little more beautiful. We'll get into that later on. At the end of this episode, by the way, we're going to do something a little bit different. This week, they're running a sale at AppSumo. It's called Plus Day. Ever wonder why all AppSumo sales are called Plus Day or Sumo Day, but they actually last like four days long? I don't know. I don't get that, but there's probably a rhyme and a reason to it that is beyond my intelligence level. But it's currently Plus Day, and they are running 15 different sales for Plus members, and I'm going to give you a breakdown what the heck is going on over there because it's a little bit complicated to understand, but I've got it. I know exactly what they're offering, and I'll help you make some good decisions, I hope. Now, before we get into the actual reviews, a few things to point out. I've got full-length tutorials for all of the products I'm about to talk about. Those are linked down below. They're 20, 30, 40 minutes long. This video is meant to be short, so each product will be covered in a couple of minutes. Next, I've got links for everything mentioned in this video. This video doesn't have a sponsor, so if you want to help support this content, click my link before making a purchase. I thank you to everyone who has already done so, and please continue to do so in the future. This is a really fun job. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the bite-sized reviews. First up is Whirr. This is a form builder for your website that I actually really liked, and I wanted to give a super high score, but I just couldn't do so, and I'm about to explain why. So here's what I liked about it. It's a visual builder. You don't need to be a coder or a designer. Everything is just done like it's a document. You can use notion style slash commands and have a form built out in no time at all. But there were a few issues. The first issue is that there are no integrations or API access to the data once you have people fill out your forms, which means it's going to take some manual involvement to get your leads out, to get your purchase requests out, whatever people are filling out your form for, you're going to have to manually do it. You can't even set up an N8N or a Zapier or anything. Those integrations just don't exist yet. They're coming, but they're not there right now. The next thing that kind of disappointed me was the fact that there's no custom domain options. There's no way to add a C name and put these forms onto your own subdomain to make it look on brand. Now, there is one important thing that I missed in my original video, and that's the fact that there is embedding available. Let's go over to the comments and I'll show you what happened. So first up here, we have the web stylist. And I actually think he might've edited his comment because in the original comment, I think he asked if you can embed these on a WordPress website and use them inside of a pop-up that displays after a few seconds. And I originally said, no, you can't embed them on a site and there's no pop-up functionality. And then a little bit later on, I think this guy must be involved with the company, perhaps the founder of Word, I'm not really sure. And they say that actually Word does support embedding. And I was like, they do? So I went and looked and oh my word, there's something I missed. Here it is. If you click on the share button, where in my review, I clicked on the publish button, there is an embed option right here. So you can embed these forms on your own website. Really good to know. And my apologies to the Word team for getting that wrong. But I do want to thank them for being courteous and gracious in their comments here. They could have been like, oh, this video is terrible because you made that mistake. Uh, instead, they just said they appreciate the great video. So kudos to the team over at Word. So wrapping things up on Word, I gave it a 5.8 out of 10. This is a case where I'd like to give them a higher score. I actually like the product. I like the way it works and how everything functions. But the fact that those major features are missing are just gonna cause really, really high deductions. So that is why it's in the fives. If they fix those things, it'll be in the high sixes, maybe even into the sevens. By those things, just to recap, I mean having some kind of white label custom C name type of function, as well as integrations. Let me get my data out in an automated fashion. All right, moving on. The next tool is Claspo. This is a pop-up builder, but you could actually use it as a form builder as well. They have just kind of standard uh, widgets that you can put on your page. They don't, they don't pop up at all. They're just there. Uh, but it's a really, really great tool. I was very impressed with this. Over 700 templates available, a very full featured editor. And they have this very interesting way, I'm saying very a lot, but they have this genuinely interesting way of walking the line between having a technical editor that can do a lot of, you know, slightly more advanced CSS features, 
but masking it in a way that I think is very usable for the average person who's not a web developer. So that means your developer is going to be able to log into this tool and feel like they can get everything that they want out of it. But your regular person is also going to be able to log in and very quickly choose one of the 700 templates. So they want to have their Super Bowl sale. They can click a button and they get a you know nicely designed pop up right away. Customize it with their own copy. Maybe swap out an image here or there and you know tweak the settings just slightly. They're intuitive enough that a regular person can figure out and they are off to the races with their pop-up developed. So Classbo, a really impressive tool. Now, the questions that came up after the publishing of Classbo was, well, how does this compare to other lifetime deal pop-up tools, namely ConvertBox? And uh, actually, let's just go to the comments. So I've got Darren over here who asked about the comparison to ConvertBox. And my response was that Classbo has more integrations, more templates, and a more detailed editor. However, if you're already using ConvertBox and you like it and it's converting for you, you're done. You don't have to upgrade your tool. Like if it's not broke, don't fix it is a very reasonable stance when it comes to these sort of software deals. There's actually a benefit to ConvertBox over Classbo. It's the fact that it's very limited in its editor. You can't break their layouts because you can't change them very much. Uh, that is probably by design so that if you are truly a novice using ConvertBox, you can't make it look exactly how you want, which you could with Classbo, but you certainly can't break it. Although there's only like seven or eight templates in ConvertBox the last time I checked. So Classbo again wins there. And we haven't talked about a price comparison between the two yet, but Chris over here says that Classbo is too expensive. And so my response was, well, like, is it? I mean, have you checked the cost? Like what else? is going to be a better price here. ConvertBox, 495 bucks, and it's gonna give you only 250,000 page views and 10 websites. For, I think it's tier two of Classbo, so we can definitely go higher, but with tier two of Classbo, $109, so what, $400 cheaper, you're gonna get twice as many page views and the same amount of websites. So I think the price is definitely in Classbo's favor here. Even if you scale Classbo all the way up to tier five, where you get 5 million page views and unlimited domains, it's still only $30 more than ConvertBox with the 250,000 page views. So it's definitely not expensive on those terms anyways. So how would it be expensive? Maybe if you are using another tool that has pop-ups built in, like let's say you have ConvertKit, I think they do pop-ups or Maybe you're using some kind of WordPress-based system and you've already paid for it or it's built in. Well, yeah, then like I said before, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The upside to Classbo being a SaaS and not a WordPress plugin is of course that you can use it anywhere on the internet. So if you've got a few clients that are Shopify, a few that are Wix, a few that have static websites, a few that are using Ghost, well, you'll be able to throw these pop-ups on all of your clients' websites and not have to worry about, well, I've only got this one WordPress plugin to do pop-ups. So do you want to migrate your whole site over to WordPress? I mean, I've definitely heard people talking like that and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to ask a business owner to make such radical changes just to add in a pop-up. All right, our last review before we get into the AppSumo Plus Day sale is Starbox Pro. This is a WordPress plugin that adds an author box at the bottom of your blog post. That's kind of it, right? So the idea here is that it's going to increase your EAT that's expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. These are ranking factors from Google. But how well does this plugin actually execute? I think it's a great idea. It's the execution that kind of falls down. There were several templates that just didn't render very nicely. It would like cut off the tops of letters. Uh, and just overall, the design, the fit and finish wasn't up to my expectations. So this is an instance where my scoring system kind of comes into play, because if you remember, I gave Were a 5.8. I actually like Were better than I like Starbox Pro, but Starbox Pro got a better score. It got a 6.2. And the reason for that is that it does everything it says it's going to do. It actually adds, you know, a decent looking author box to the bottom of your blog post. So for that, it's, you know, there's flaws here for sure. It's in the sixes but uh, it does what it says it's going to do. Whereas with Whir, I feel like if I can't get my data out of the form without having to log in and manually do it, man, that's, that's a pretty big downside to that tool. So there, you have a little insight into how I score these things. Do I regret giving Starbucks Pro a 6.2? 
yeah, maybe it probably should have been five, nine, six, one, something like that. But it is what it is. The score is already given. All right. So here we are. I'm on AppSumo's homepage. I'm going to explain this plus today sale for you because it's confusing. I'm just going to flat out say it. There's a lot of things going on here. We got 15 deals. It's running from now until August 19th at noon central time. So noon central time because AppSumo is in Austin and that is their time zone. If you're wondering why everything's in central, that is the methodology. Very intricate there. All right. So let's get into the plus day sale. There are 15 deals. And in order to take part in any of this, you need to be an AppSumo Plus member. What is AppSumo Plus? I know a lot of people watching this already know, but I'll give it the very quick version. If you sign up for AppSumo Plus, it's a lot like Amazon Prime, but instead of getting free shipping, you just get 10% off of everything. And like Amazon Prime, you also get a bunch of other perks. One of them is that AppSumo runs these sales pretty regularly these days where you get earlier access to tools at cheaper prices than the general AppSumo buying population. So if I wanted to get, let's say, I think it was uh, Claspo that I just talked about, that was available at a cheaper price earlier for Plus members, Plus members only. So eventually it will be available to everyone, but for those few days, Claspo was only available to Plus members. There's also this kind of hidden benefit they don't talk about a lot. It's fairly new, and that's their buyer protection program. Here it is, the purchase protection policy. It says the purchase protection policy gives a 100% credit to plus members and a 50% credit to non-plus members whenever a select tool shuts down within 12 months of purchase date. So if you buy an AppSumo select tool and it goes away for whatever reason, you will get 100% credit for plus members and 50% credit if you're not in plus. It means that only has to happen to you like once and it's gonna pay for plus you know, for that year anyway. Hopefully it doesn't happen every year, but let's be honest, these deals, they go away. I mean, software is a difficult market to compete in. So that is what AppSumo Plus is in terms of the service. 100 bucks a year, you get a discount on everything. Now, what is AppSumo Plus Day? Well, for that, we need to categorize our deals here. And in my opinion, they haven't done the best job because I just have a blob of stuff. So let me break it down for you. There are three types of sales. The first one is exclusive plus day sales. These are two products out of these 15. There's two of them that are only going to be available for plus members. After plus day, they're gone. No one else is going to have a chance to buy them. Those deals are RoboMotion and Closely. RoboMotion is an automation platform. It can interact on your desktop. Very popular. Been on AppSumo several times, but it's been a while since it's been back. If you want to stock up on RoboMotion, now is the time to do so. Closely, uh, cold email platform. It's gonna integrate with your LinkedIn and do automation to reach out to people automatically for you. There's another deal on AppSumo that actually just hit AppSumo, I think on Monday, called Email Sequences. That's been on my radar of things to check out. I don't know how it compares to Closely, but if you're interested in doing cold outreach, it might be beneficial to you to go and compare closely to email sequences and figure out what's best for your business. All right, so that is the first type of sale that we have going on. Remember, exclusive. These deals are not going to be available to other people later on. Once they're gone, once Friday at noon happens, they're gone. The next type of deal is code limited. There are six deals that are code limited, and once these codes are sold out, they will no longer be available. Now they're currently limited to plus members, but once AppSumo Plus Day ends, well, then everybody will have their fair go at them. The most popular one by far is Ad You Need. They are down to 190 codes of Ad You Need. This sale has only been running for about six and a half hours as of the recording of this video. So if these are gone by the time I publish, I'm sorry, but Ad You Need is a tool to allow you to create ads for Facebook and Google and Instagram and all the meta stuff. Obviously, it's a wildly popular tool, almost 600 reviews. That's one of the highest number of reviews I've ever seen on an AppSumo product. 
The other code limited tools are DMARC report. This is for monitoring your DMARC settings. You actually see what is going on with those settings that whether people are trying to uh, use your email accounts maliciously, highly recommend having a tool like DMARC report in your repertoire. If you don't have one already, I will note that Cloudflare has a limited version of this, but I do think DMARC report is superior to the free version of what you get on Cloudflare, but it's better than nothing. If you don't do anything, check out Cloudflare. Then we've got get terms. This is going to be kind of like a term and get in competitor. I don't know about these particular tools. Obviously, you should probably check with some kind of a lawyer if you're going to be using this or offering it to clients. I will say that on their tier five of get terms, you get unlimited access. So you can do cookies and privacy policies and terms and conditions. Unlimited 500 bucks, I think, is tier five. So if you're doing an agency and you want to offer those terms and conditions pages, that might be a suitable way to do so. But again, you want to limit your exposure there. So just take it for what it is. All right, the last three code limited tools, Bannerboo, this is for building HTML animated ads. If you do display advertising, this might be a tool you want to check out. Also very highly reviewed here, but not very many people interested in claiming it, especially compared over to ad you need here. Then we have reports. This is an old school deal. I think I picked this one up in about 2018 or so. Uh, this is a decent tool for building a report dashboard. So if you're doing analytics, uh, advertising analytics, you wanna pull everything into one place. Reports does a decent job. It is slightly technical, but all of these reporting dashboards are because they just are complex. No one's really nailed making this dead simple yet. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a viable option. My recommendation there is to check out the integration, see if the tools that you want to report on are compatible with reports. They have quite a few integrations, but certainly not everything. And then the last code limited deal is Brainwork. This is an AI blogging tool. These are really commodities at this point. I seem to review them about every 10 days or so on this channel. I have not used Brainwork yet, but in general, what I think about when I you know, am analyzing one of these tools is, can I bring in my own API key or what models are they using? Is it the latest and greatest or am I stuck with, you know, ChatGPT 3.5 or, you know, most of them I've moved on from that at this point, but uh, I'm looking to see how good is the content going to be? Cause in the end, that's what really matters. And then can I collaborate with other people? Because if I can't, I might as well just stick on regular old ChatGPT plus or Claude Pro or something like that. All right, so these six deals that we just talked about, those are the code limited deals. Everything else on the page that we have not talked about so far, those are all going to be available to the AppSumo general populace after the sale ends, but it will be at a higher price. It's going to be more expensive. So if we're looking at Blue here, which is a project management tool, probably going to be 59 bucks for tier one instead of 49 bucks. If we're looking at something like a Cadle, which is a very popular LMS tool, it's probably going to be 89 bucks or even 99 bucks for a single code. There are some very interesting new deals here. Insert chat, gen page, conditional blocks pro. This is a WordPress tool and tethered. Some very interesting tools. I probably will be doing full length reviews on some of these later on. So if you've got inputs, thoughts, which ones you wanna see first, drop me a line down below. So there you have it. That is the AppSumo Plus Day sale. Hopefully it all makes perfect sense to you now. So that's also gonna wrap up this episode of the Taco Truck Roundup. I've got links again for everything down below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check me out on clientamp.com. You can get my free newsletter, check out my courses over there, or just browse our library of reviews and articles that we are currently amassing over hundreds of videos that I've made over the years are all going up onto clientamp.com. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next review.